can I say? We've, we're having a stellar week. Having a very good week. Got an awful lot of stuff done. Got an awful lot of organisation done. It's starting to become fun again, which it needs to do pretty quick because I don't want to do this we're having fun. I agree with that, because you're no fun to be around when you're not having fun. I don't mean making videos, I mean the whole the whole making props. Oh no, I generally mean just being around you. I can see that, I can see that. He expects you to walk around like a former monkey, doesn't he, being happy all the time. That's what I do, isn't it? Yeah, I just switch it on and it happens and you lot start laughing at yourselves, at yourselves with me at yourselves especially you baldy <laughs> i like that face he pulls it makes me smile so talk about tell us tell us the people who are watching this because i will be that person checking out on the telly afterwards i will tell us about the good things tell us about you saying it's, it's getting good i'm absolutely loving all being in one space like this are you so much better so much more up. This chair's really wobbly. That means he's been sitting on it, but they've definitely broke it. Maybe it's a weight limit. I think there is. And whoever sat on it has broke it. Is it like it? Can't be me, because I identify as a thin man. Mm -hmm. You look it. Only, only, only when you identify as a thin man. Otherwise, you look really big. <laughs> <laughs> you love him being in an open space. A wide open space. A big. <laughs> Paul likes a big wide open space. That's why he goes round to your mum's. Do you need a hug? No. So tell me what you what you think we can do tomorrow. I think, do you remember a while ago, we sat down and we made a list of all the different features and stuff that we'd, we'd do per month. We need to get that back on track. Yeah, and every time you say this to me, I tell you about them again and I email them to you again. And then we have this conversation a month later. You see, the problem is emails. You know, I've got a very short attention span. Do you know why? I'm a creator. I need to be making physical things. I just need to make physical things. If I've not made something kick ass in the day, I go home feeling down. Isn't it, Paul? Sometimes, if I've not managed to make something kick ass during the day, I look at what Paul's been doing and that, that gives me that same satisfaction. I like that tie bust over there. Me and Angel and Jay have put 10 of them together this week. Very nice. I'm quite pleased with that, considering that's been worked in with everything else that we had to do. Sexy little beast. So this week we've got absolutely nothing. No ideas. No, it's not fair. It's, it's not fair to say we've got no ideas. We don't have. The time, the time, the facility, the space, or I'm going to get Clarky to say this. We don't have the facilities. We don't have the facilities. <laughs> Why is that funny? I say chicken as well. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't. We don't have. That's the problem in it at the moment. Yeah, because we are sat here after everyone's gone home again because we need peace. We've had. The plumber in to sort out the toilets and the kitchen. That room needs finishing. But before we can do any of that, we've got to get all the props sorted out. So why don't we do a Q&A then? We can, this can be the intro for the video. You can now say, so what we're going to do tomorrow is, we get a load of questions. We, we always get questions, some old, some new. We Ask some questions then. Put it out, get some questions. Do you want me to answer them now? No, because we haven't got them. I'll just give you some answers, you ready? Let's see if these fit. <laughs> Let's see if these fit. No, we're not doing any more. <laughs> ready? No, we're not doing anything from the new movies. <laughs> right, wait a minute, I won't do it over your shoulder. Right, so put it out on the socials. Hands about fucking hell. Fat thumbs. <laughs> Do you need to breathe behind me like some kind of sex pest? I've got thin cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Right, so, Snowtrooper Commander helmet, question mark. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, in the, it's in the works. What's happened with that is, at the time when we were preparing it and getting to the stage that we showed in a video a few weeks ago, we had somebody in the team who was able to do that, but now we've had to steal them or not steal them, now we've trained them so that they can help with um, building some of the commission stuff. So we are still working on finishing a big bunch of commissions so that we're back on on the target to, um, to hit our deadlines and then at that, at that point then we can look at it again. But we'll be looking at it soon. Is the painted lineage Boba Fett helmet ever going to be back in stock? What about the machine day cap? It will be. It all, everything will be. But because we're changing the website and because we are still playing a bit of catch up, rather than keep it open and um, upset people with longer waiting times, we just thought we'd close it off, get straight, then we can reevaluate. To help with saving, what month can we expect the next new general release helmet? Um, You're not going to commit to a time, so don't. And even if you do commit to one, I'm not going to put it in the video. When will the full range of busts be back in stock? The busts we're working on took it out of stock because of stocking issues. Yeah, I mean, it's a perfect storm at the moment. We've got the pandemic, we've got our issues, our woes. And then we had the big container ship that got bombed in the Suez Canal. So um, getting stuff here is, is um, a logistical nightmare, as they say. Will you be offering the E33 Bobba rifle again? The E3? It says E33. We will be. The, the, way, the way things are panning, and this answers the, the Boba Fett question and some of the helmet stuff, we are planning the new website, we're going to switch over to the new website and we're going to populate that with all the things that are less complex first. And we have been get, getting, we've been catching up with the commissions that are less complex. So that's all of the, that's basically everything except Boba Fett helmets, commissions and Y-Wing helmets. So they're the three things that our, that are the last things that we're going to um, be tackling to get up to date. And it's just because if we tackled those three things, everything else would be like, we, we, everything would be left because there's just an immense amount of time in it. Are the goal leader helmets going to be available again? Yes. We did the first run of 25, so we've got 75 left to complete that. That is going to happen. Um, we thought about doing it sooner rather than later, but we decided that we're going to complete the wirings first. This is a good one. I'm going to direct it to everyone in the room. What's a favourite piece in your personal collection? TK helmet. Um, Rob actually made it for me. I just got it for Christmas before I started there, but. As a child, as a kid, child, watching um, Star Wars, it's, it's always been about a TK helmet for me. Then everything else has come after that. But yeah, my TK, my first TK helmet. I have a collection of things that I've stolen off Paul's bench that he used to own, that is now like a little shrine in my man cave. <laughs> what I will say is um, I'm going to do, uh, I am planning on a collector spotlight with Rogue One Six guys. So I'll be showing my full collection and I'll talk about all the pieces and why the special to me. Do you want to borrow anything good off me? What about them lucky pants that you wear? Um, no, Rob's electric blue underpants. We did a, sw a switch, a swatch. Have you still got them? Yeah, yeah. I've done. Sometimes when I need waking up, I give them a quick... <laughs> like smelling salts. <laughs> We call me smelling socks. Mm. <laughs> Go on, you answer it. What's your favourite thing in your collection? My favourite thing in my collection is my original TK. So I've ended up here because I was a customer. Bought my TK about seven years ago, went to the old, old studio, picked up it as a kit, built it myself over a few months, 
took it back to the studio, dead proud to show the boys, and Pete took it apart in front of me because <laughs> it was quite badly put together. But yeah, that's my favourite piece. Been on a it's been on a mannequin for fucking five years because I'm too fat to fit in it now. If anybody's wondering how the Clarky went from being a customer to producing these videos, he, after he came to visit us, he actually became our drug dealer and <laughs> <laughs> progressed from there. It doesn't really make much because he's, as Rob pointed out earlier, he has actually got thumbs, well, toes for thumbs. So he's not very good at things like that. Big toes. We can insert one of the answers from before from this one, but any interest in doing Django or Mando parts in the future? Uh, 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 I don't, if we can get, if we can get screen news, we did have uh, some bits that we were planning on doing that were from production made stuff. Um, probably, I think that was been lost in the fire. I think Is that that's Django of, stuff you're talking about? Yeah, I think that's one of the depressing things that was lost in the fire. Mandalorian, Mandalorian, like, ma like as in the Mercs and Custom and stuff. No, as in the Mandalorian TV show? No, definitely not. JFX Replicas asked, how is my mum? But I think you should answer this one, Paul. Uh, yeah, she's, she's fine, buddy. Um, I'll take care of her at, at first. Uh, yeah, you pick them gently. <laughs> but the focus right now, everyone will be glad to hear, is completing the Y wing run. Yeah. Somebody the other day actually asked me what number we're up to, and I can't remember, and I was going to find out. But Well, I can tell you, my order number, I'm like late 70s, not at Paul's age. <laughs> and I'm, I'm nowhere near get my Y-Wing helmet yet, so. I think we're at the halfway mark. I think we're at the halfway mark. Uh, JFX Replicas has come back on and said, joking aside, what is the one item from the original series you would want to reproduce? I bet that pet helmet was big on the list, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What would we like to make out of the original trilogy? I don't know. I don't know now. We've, we've hit so many of them with the the Stormtrooper and the and the Fett. Uh, I want to complete all the... All the Stormtroopers, all the different variants of Stormtroopers. Original I, trilogy. i tell you what I would really like, and it's not very exciting, but it's, I would really like it, a proper Thai chess box. Mm. Is, do they exist? There is a couple in private collections, yeah. That would be that would be nice. That would be a nice piece. So if we've got a private collector watching who's got one. Call of us. <laughs> I mean, how many, you know, from the fire, I, rem I just remember seeing a rook of... Fet helmets and Y-Wing helmets of near completion. Yeah, I think we lost about 20 Y-Wings. Jesus Christ. And probably 12 to 15, maybe more of the of yeah. the Fets. Just remember, they were all looking sweet on that. I'm back. trying I'm trying not to think about it because... Oh, I do apologise. Me and my fucking big fuck. It'll just get depressing, but yeah. um, we're fighting back. Yeah, yeah we're doing well. Hey guys, so that's it, as you can see. Oh, that's better. No time to stop. And then he stopped. Um, so that's it for this time. Uh, we're going to try and get back on our program. We are getting back to where we need to be. We're getting back into the fun zone and getting back to having fun. This week, another step closer to the full normal program at RS. So thanks for watching. Um, do come back next time. We're, we'll be sliding back into where we used to be, I'm sure, with the found part videos and with the tutorials and with more good times at RS. There were more questions than we could fit into this episode without it turning into a really dull, boring video. Um, luckily, I was here to juzz it up a bit because Clarky and Paul are just like zero personality. But there you go. Uh, keep the questions coming in if you've got some because we'll drop it in again soon and we're probably going to start trying to up the videos up to two a week like we used to do like he's shaking his head behind the camera <laughs> it's just the way it goes yeah thanks for watching um, enjoy the match tonight if you are watching it Euros are on if you're in the US um, you probably don't follow football because you call it soccer for some reason but anyway um, if you are watching the match Common England and just like to say to Mr. Ford if he's watching I think he will be may the best team win just take that back on a sec I need to trust Paul
He probably wants us me to do it. Oh, take your glasses off. Right, that's just before we start, some shit joke's about to happen. Well, right. close your eyes. Because you've been growing your hair back, <laughs> and when you get a bit irritated, you start rubbing it off. So, size so ordered you this, so you can... Oh, I, I don't <laughs> like that. A little I'm bit bulb of it all off. Is it arousing you? Because it's arousing me. <laughs> Like this. A little, if I say a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we're about. I think we're both on the, the same scale. I've aroused. I'm not sure that your action is the correct action. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> you have a go. Slowly. You have a go. Slowly. Far too heavy handed, you, Paul. This is, is this a kitchen implement? <laughs> no, that's what it's for. Can you put it on your butt? It's a massage your head. Should, should it cut in there? What? Should it make him bleed? He's, he's got fat lines all over his head. 